Hi, I'm Terry from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and today I'm going to show you how to um, work magic loop on something large other than socks. So something like Jared Flood's Hemlock Ring Throw, which I'm going to actually be working on a little bit here. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. Black and white picture there. But I've had a number of customers and people asking for help and how not to get ladders when they're doing a pie shawl, some other circular shawl. Um, doing magic loop. Um, they seem to not have trouble doing socks and but when you start doing adding yarn overs and so forth it seems to cause some people some trouble. So I've already started it so you can kind of see there's the beginning. I used Emily Ocker's cast on which I just did a video on how to do that too so you can watch that video but that's a cast on for circular knitting cast on eight and then I've done my yarn overs. Now I've just completed um, row 7 which has got yarn overs in it and I'll show you I had to sit and figure out why don't I get ladders and I think it's because of the way I tend tighten the yarn um, pretty much like I do with double points um, I really cinch down that first stitch so here I'm at home position with my work and I'm just going to knit around so I'm going to pull out my back needle I'm ready to knit and the first stitch I'm knitting is a yarn over and I go ahead and I pull the yarn so it closes around the cable. I don't know if you can see that. Instead of leaving it loose like it was for the diameter of the needle, I pull it so that it's just the diameter. I don't strangle the cable, but I pull it so it closes up the gap. And then I do my knitting. And here I'm doing English. And then again, I'll snug up this first stitch and do my second. And then I just tension normally after that. So let me go across here. And I know you're asking, but doesn't that make it hard to push the stitches back up onto the other needle tip when I get back around there? And I don't seem to have an issue. I think what it does is it, when I slide it back up there, it opens that stitch back up and takes up any slack that would cause a ladder between the front and the back needle. We'll get here to the other end and I'll switch to continental and I'll also switch needles. So here I'm back to the end. Go back to home position and turn. Get my tail out of the way there. Now I'm going to switch to continental. So you can see I do the same thing there. So as you can see, I've pushed this back up here and this is the stitch that I really tightened up and it just slides right back onto the needle just like all the others so I'm going to you know it might be a little snugger but it's going to even out by the time I get to it so again I pull it I close down that stitch on the cable but not super duper tight just so it takes up any slack around this cable slide my stitches up and just tighten those stitches and then knit normally. By the time I get down to that other end where I had tightened before, just knitting into the stitches kind of loosens everything back up again and takes up the slack. And by that time this stitch, which is the one I tightened down before, is all normal. And any irregularities I might get between there will go away once I've blocked my um, pattern out. So you can see that's how I do it without getting any ladders. I'll do it one more time so you can maybe see how I tighten that down. Get back here to home position. And I pull my needle out and I'm pulling my working yarn so it closes up around the cable, knitting my stitch, snugging up that first stitch and knitting my second stitch, and there's no ladder. So I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, just let us know and we'll try to clarify it some more. But it's just really not being afraid to snug that last stitch up on the back needle 
down to the cable diameter will help you avoid those ladders. So um, just let us know if you have trouble and we will try to help you out with another video. And this is Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool. Thanks for watching. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night